Welcome to the He's Got Issues Marvel Comics Edition number 196.1. I'm John Cooney here to preview new Marvel comics being released October 21st, 2015, beginning alphabetically with 1872 number 4. It's high noon and timely. Will Justice Stand Tall or Die in the Street? Timid Dr. Banner comes out of his shell. Red Wolf's fate is finally revealed. Next we have Age of Apocalypse number 5. The philosophy of Apocalypse has always been let the fittest survive but by its ultimate extension, that would only leave one person standing. As mutants fall from the shocking release of a devastating plague, who will live and who will die? And if Apocalypse falls, who will rule in his place? We've also got Amazing Spider-Man number 2. Spider-Man has gone global. Parker Industries is more successful than ever, with offices in New York, Shanghai, London, and San Francisco, and Peter Parker is racking up the frequent flyer miles with his bodyguard Spider-Man in tow, of course. But success breeds enemies, and a reinvigorated Zodiac have also widened their scope to threaten the whole world. Join Dan Slott and Giuseppe Camincoli as they take Spider-Man to the next level. Next, we have Astonishing Ant-Man number 1. Scott Lang was a down-on-his-luck, divorced ex-con until he stole renowned scientist and superhero Hank Pym's size-altering technology in the hopes of saving his daughter's life. Through that act of doing wrong for the right reasons, Scott inadvertently learned how to be a hero himself. With Pym's blessing and his daughter Cassie at his side, he became the Astonishing Ant-Man. But when a curveball upends Scott's life, will he continue to be a hero, or will he return to his former life of crime? We've also got Darth Vader number 11, Aphra's private investigation on behalf of Vader, Vader's investigation on behalf of the Empire. It all comes crashing together with deadly results. Next we have Invincible Iron Man number 2, exploding out of the pages of Secret Wars, one of the most popular superheroes of the world gets a gigantic new series. From the creators that brought you Ultimate Spider-Man comes new armor, new supporting cast, new villains, and a new purpose that is going to tear itself across the entire Marvel Universe and beyond. Next we have Journey to Star Wars The Force Awakens Shattered Empire number 44, concluding the first new canon comic tale set between episodes 6 and 7. As the Empire shatters around them, rebel heroes fight for a better tomorrow. Greg Rucka and Marco Cicchetto take us into the more recent long, long time ago. Next we have Karnak number 1, The Flaw in All Things. My curse is that I see the flaw in all things. Systems, philosophies, structures, people, everything. Never forget who I am. I am Karnak of the Inhumans. You may not know who Karnak is now, but you will when Warren Ellis and Gerardo Zafino are done with you. Phil Coulson goes to Karnak to help with a shield case with inhuman implications, and what he's going to find will terrify you. We've also got Marvel Universe Ultimate Spider-Man Web Warriors number 12, Dracula Attacks. Spidey teams up with the secret team of monster heroes, the Howling Commandos. Next we have S.H.I.E.L.D. number 11. In order to defeat an enemy from the past, Coulson and his team must resurrect a hero from yesteryear, Dominic Fortune. Only Fortune remembers the secret to conquering the threat at hand, but if S.H.I.E.L.D. wants it, they'll have to bargain for it. We've also got Secret Wars Agents of Atlas number 1 one-shot. Son of Anarchy, an oppressive domain run by Baron Zemo, the people's only hope, an underground group of rebels, Gorilla Man, M11, Namora, Venus, Marvel Boy, but their leader Jimmy Woo, captured. Can Agent Coulson help save the resistance, or will he lead them to their doom? Next we have Uncanny and Humans number one. Meet the Uncanny and Humans, Medusa, Black Bolt, Triton, Reader, Human Torch, Beast? It's eight months later and everything is different for the Inhumans. Medusa and Johnny Storm are an item, Black Bolt is running covert missions on his own, and something so big happened between the Inhumans and the X-Men that Beast is now on the side of the Inhumans. And if that's not enough, the most dangerous villain throughout Marvel's history is against them, Kang the Conqueror. Don't miss what the epic team behind Death of Wolverine, Charles Soule and Steve McNiven, have in store for you. All this plus a bonus story by Charles and Brandon Peterson. We've also got Weird World number 5. The final battle for the fate of Weird World. To save his home of Polymachus, Archon must lead his newfound allies against the armies of Morgan Le Fay. And we have What If Infinity Guardians of the Galaxy number one one shot. What if the Guardians of the Galaxy found out the Illuminati were hiding Thanos? Thanos is the most wanted man in the universe, and for years he was secretly being held by the Illuminati. The Guardians of the Galaxy just found out, and they're pissed off. 
Out in trades this week, we have Bucky Barnes, The Winter Soldier, Volume 2 trade paperback. As Bucky Barnes fights for his life, the planet Mersey Bow approaches Civil War, its first in seven centuries, and The Winter Soldier might be the catalyst. The other Bucky Barnes came to this dimension to help, but did the man who seeks to end the war just cause it one in another universe? Who sent crossbones to kill Bucky? Who benefits from erasing their steps of the most? And as the two Buckys sort things out, the mastermind is uncovered, and Daisy Johnson hunts for the gun planet, a planet that is an actual gun, now aimed at Mersey Bow. Quake and Venelin join forces, but the lies fly far and wide. Bucky and Bucky have a trans-dimensional team-up, but as the situation on Mersey Bow reaches a climax, are two Buckys one too many? Collecting Bucky Barnes the Winter Soldier, number 6 through 11. Next, we have Captain America and the Mighty Avengers, Volume 2, Last Days, trade paperback. These are the stories of the end of the world and the people who faced the end together. Some wore costumes, some didn't. Some had powers, and all some had were each other. They were the Mighty Avengers, and this is the story of their last day. Then, in the battle world Futuropolis of Mondo City 1, Boss Cage is the law. But when the fascist fiefdom annexes neighboring Yinsen City, who will defend Ho Yinsen's dream of peace? The Mighty Defenders. As Captain Britain faces Boss Cage from the inside of a cell, Mondo City breaks out its biggest gun. Can even the Defender stand against the multi-story murder dozer called War Machine? Plus, the Age of Ultron hits the UK. Collecting Captain America and the Mighty Avengers number 8 and 9, Captain Britain and the Mighty Defenders 1 and 2, and Avengers Assemble number 15 AU. We've also got Hawkeye by Matt Fraction and David Aha of Omnibus Hardcover, Marvel's most critically acclaimed comic in recent memory, Clint Barton, breakout star of a little Marvel movie you might have seen a while back, continues his fight for justice and good rooftop barbecues. With young Avenger Kate Bishop by his side, he's out to get some downtime from being one of Earth's mightiest heroes. But when the apartment building he's moved into and the neighbors he's befriended are threatened by a tracksuit-wearing, dog-abusing gang of Eastern European mobsters who say bro an awful lot, Clint must stand up and defend his new adopted family any way he can. It's Hawk Guy, Kate, Pizza Dog, et al., against the clown, Madame Mask, and tracksuits, and more in a fantastic Eisner Award-nominated reinvention of the Arrow Avenger. Bro, you read this book, okay, bro? Collecting Hawkeye number 1 through 22 and Annual number 1 and Young Avengers Presents number 6. Next, we have Jessica Jones, Volume 2, Alias Trade Paperback. All she ever wanted was to be a superhero, but life had other plans for Jessica Jones. Now the adventures of the would-be Avenger turned bitter super-powered private eye continue with two new cases. First, Jessica travels to upstate New York to investigate the disappearance of a teenage girl rumored to be a mutant in a prejudiced small town, but a murder mystery and a drunken ill-advised fling complicate matters. Then, the hard-luck P.I. goes on a date with the astonishing Ant-Man, collects alias number 11 through 15. We've also got Moon Knight Epic Collection Volume 2 Shadows of the Moon trade paperback, Ghosts, Werewolves, and Things That Go Crazy in the Night, Marvel's multiple personality Midnight Marauder takes the fight to the strangest rogues gallery in all of comics. From Arsenal, the one-man army, to the nun with a crossbow known as Stained Glass Scarlet, the jester is no joke for either Moon Knight or Daredevil. Then there's Morpheus, who's guaranteed to give you sleepless nights, but the old foes are the worst, enemies like Midnight Man and Bushmen, who have returned to plague Mark Spector. Or is he Stephen Grant? Jake Lockley? As always, with Moon Knight, the voices inside his head can be as destructive as the lunatics trying to kill him. Doug Munch and Bill Sinkovitz hit full stride in a superhero comic like no other, collecting Moon Knight number 5 through 23. And we've got Star Wars Legends Epic Collection Volume 2, The Empire Trade Paperback. The dark times continue as the Empire strengthens its grip in the wake of Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. The remaining Jedi are marked for death. Jedi Master Krunk faces a battle for his life, one with deadly parallels for Bomo Greenbark and the crew of the smuggler vessel Uhumele. Meanwhile, Master Dash Jenner is down on his last credit and faces a stark choice compromise his ideals or starve. Being a Jedi may make him an outlaw, but does being an outlaw mean he's no longer a Jedi? Darth Vader doesn't care. He's on Das's trail either way, and so is the dread assassin Falco Sang. Collecting Star Wars Dark Times number 6 through 17, Star Wars Dark Times Blue Harvest number 0, and Star Wars Dark Times Out of the Wilderness number 1 through 5. 
All right, that's it for Marvel this week, but there's still plenty of other books out as well, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at He's Got Issues.com to see both the DC and Indies videos for this week, as well as my usual roundup of all my favorites for the week with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. And you can now find He's Got Issues on eBay at He's Got Issues.com slash eBay for great deals on comics, trades, and lots of superhero and pop culture merchandise. And of course, you can always follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, and Instagram to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney, and I've got issues.